Today we are going to talk about overridden cells and how they can seriously affect the grades of your students if you're not aware of what's happening. You'll see when you go to your grade sheet that you may notice that some of the cells are in a tan color. For instance, this one has a tan shade, this one has a tan shade, a couple over here. Sometimes that's okay because maybe you went in here and you said, okay, this student needs a 95%. So you turned the editing on and you went there and gave them 95%. However, other times in the category column, you'll see that there's a shaded cell there and as well as the course totals. And that's never a good thing. What that means is that something happened and we have it set up that the students grades will never change no matter what grades you give them for all the other assignments they will still say stay the same so you'll see for instance on this student anonymous three um, for their category total they have 95 percent 95 percent 100 percent on attendance but for some reason their grade is 50 percent and it will never change from being 50 percent as long as that cells in brown so to take that off, what you're going to need to do is turn your editing back on. And we'll move over to the one that says 50%. And if we click on the pencil that says Edit Grade, it opens up this sheet and you can see there's an overridden button on it. And if you click on that to turn it off and do Save Changes, and then you come back to your spreadsheet and you'll see that the grade did change for the student they now have a 95 percent so you're actually going to need to do that for all the category items and the course total items that are in brown so in this column you'll see you have one in brown so you click on it it says it's a hundred percent right now click it off the overridden save the changes come back and you'll see now that they have a 35% for that category. And then you'll come over here for the course total and do the same for all of those. If you have too many things that need redone, feel free to contact me and see if we can figure something out to make it easier to do that. Another way to avoid it is to just not use the grade sheet at all, but to enter in the grades from the main course page and again I can show you how to do that if you're interested in doing that next year. Alright, we'll talk to you later. Thank you.